Yeah, I hope you're right. What's up, guys? Just watched the NBA draft last night. Oh, yes, last night was my birthday, too. I'm trying not to let the Wizards ruin my birthday my whole week, but it's hard not to. So I'm going to just wear the hat backwards because I'm a little disappointed with the pick. For uh, Troy Brown from Oregon, I, like I told you, I never heard of him before in my life until yesterday. Um, you know, from what I've heard, he shot 29% from the three-point line. Well, from what I watched, he can't really get off the ground either. Can't really jump up high. Can't shoot. And uh, the draft, what we need, we needed a shooter for John because John himself can't shoot threes consistently. So obviously, we needed a shooter, and Ernie failed us with getting a shooter in the draft. He failed. John in his press conference said we need an athletic big. He failed at getting this big, and Robert Williams was on the board, so he failed. That's two failures right there. Um, then he passed up on Lonnie Walker. That's a failure. Dante Divincenzo. You know, that's a failure. Four failures. He just failed all over the place. But like my wife actually just said, he could surprise us and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, he's six seven. Obviously, what the what the pick means to me is that we're going to get a big free agency. I don't know what his plan is to get Boogie. I mean, now we have three. Troy Brown, six foot seven with a six ten wingspan, so he's basically a small forward to shooting or whatever you want to say. But he can't shoot the basketball. So we already have Kelly, Otto, and now Troy Brown. So that's another wingman. So obviously, people on Twitter are like, "Oh, we're going to trade the pick and get Boogie." I mean, my grade for the pick is a, is a. D is a D. Yeah, it's a D. I mean, I don't see any positives from the pick, honestly, right now. Like I said, he could prove me wrong. I want him to prove me wrong. But right now, I just can't see any positive reaction from this pick whatsoever. I mean, I don't know how you don't draft Robert Williams in this in this pick. I don't see how you don't draft Lonnie Walker. I mean, it's a bad pick. I mean, it, it almost ruined my birthday for real. It really did. It almost ruined my birthday. But I'm not going to let the sorry Wizards right now impact my birthday, my birthday week. I'm just not going to let them do it. But we, we have to do something in free agency, or we got to just stand up and boycott and just not show up to games, don't pay any money, don't buy any tickets, nothing. If we don't get Boogie, DeAndre, any of those big men in the offseason, we just got to boycott. Just don't show up to the games. Please, the Caps won us a championship, but the Wizards just don't show up to any games. Don't buy any tickets. That's if we don't get Boogie, if we don't get DeAndre, Clint Capella, somebody that can make an impact. But my grade is a D, a D minus, D. It's just, it was probably the worst pick of the first round. It was probably by far the worst pick of the first round for what a team was supposed to do and feel. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't even invited to the draft. I mean, to the lottery thing, I mean. Ernie, man, I just don't know what to say. It's a face palm reaction. Just a face palm reaction to the pick. I mean, wow. I just don't know what to say. But I hope he proves me wrong, man. I'll be watching the summer league, and if he plays bad in the summer league, or if somehow he plays in the G League, then yeah, Ernie, you gotta, you gotta go. You should have been gone, but you gotta go. All right, y'all. The Wizards get a D for this pick. I hope you prove me wrong, Troy Brown. Um, all right, y'all.